What's going on YouTube? Tim from Team Silverstorm here, and I'm here with... Steven. And what did you just do, Steven? Uh, top eight, uh, oh, yeah, uh, regional. Eighth place, <laughs> uh, eighth place exactly. Yeah. 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 What are we playing? Uh, ABC. Yeah. yeah. What's going on the deck profile? Alright, so it's, uh, it's standard ABCs. Uh, three Crush, Three Assault, Three Buster Drake, Pot of Desires, if you want to play three of each. Um, Double Photon Thrasher. The reason why I'm playing two Photon Thrashers is because it's not good unless you're going first. And I also play a Rota, so I'm technically playing a third Thrasher. Um, playing Triple Gold Gadget, Triple Silver Gadgets. You want to be able to make Suit Yomi. You want to be able to get that second summon for the XYZ play. So you want to be able to open one of these or the Thrasher. So I opted to play a third Gold Gadget over the third Thrasher because this is a floater. This works good mid game. This is just it's over. It's it's, it's overall a, a slightly better card in some aspects than Thrasher is. So that and this is the perfect ratio I I play. Three and two or three and three. and two. Three and two. Uh, double max C. Everything is special. Thing. This is it's a, it's a no brainer to be playing this card. Uh, the one. Monster I played in my deck uh, a little weird it was Torque Toon Gear. Uh, so his new card just came out. It's uh, the simple basic thing to say is during your turn I'll tag out uh, end phase. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll equip this to A B or C doesn't matter. My turn I'll special just to the field. I'll sync her with A B or C whichever one of the two I want with this and Trish you for free. So it's basically a free Trish. It's also if I somehow use all three uh, Buster Drakes I have a Trish. I can I can Trish you. I don't, I'm not out of options. Um, spells, Raigeki for the one of, Rhoda, Instant Fusion, Upstart, and Foolish Burial. Um, didn't need to see more than one. One was good. You still need to play it. Norden is amazing. I don't. It's if you're not playing Norden, I'm not understanding why you're not. Uh, thirty nine cards. Thirty nine cards. Thirty nine cards. This, um, it's because I'm only playing one Desire. Uh, this would be two desires, but unfortunately it's not. So the foolish is actually it. And this actually came in really clutch a couple of times today, where I didn't. There's no way I could have made it X Y Z for the third piece, and I just foolish for it, and it was just so good, so good. Um, triple Union Hanger, triple terraforming, um, triple Trench Twister. You need it. I run triple Twister. A lot of people are running two. I'm running the three because you really need to see pieces in the graveyard. If you can't find a way to summon them and just blowing out back row. Metal Foes just became full powers of the last set. They're running around everywhere. It's really good to have it. Um, triple Strike, Warning, Vanities, Barrier. I was testing around the Barrier. The Barrier is good. The second one is going to come in, no doubt about it. Um, I decided out a lot today because I had some mermails and some other weird, weird crap that didn't work against it. But other than that, every time I resolved it, I won the duel. So this card is amazing. Vanities, I'm just trying to steal games every once in a while. And I don't want you to do anything. So, <laughs> um, extra deck. Uh, three Buster Drake. Uh, Buster Dragon. Norden. MVP all day long. Trishy Logs. This, this literally stole me two of my matches today. I had no outs or anything. I used all three of my dragons and I still the tuner, so I just I just tagged out for my last dragon and it was just it was so free. Oh my god. <laughs> MVP all day today. Uh, one give you an X. One Sukiyomi. You only need one Sukiyomi. You play the second Sukiyomi. If you feel like you're gonna go into the grind game, but honestly, you don't go into the grind game in this deck. Or if you are, you're doing something wrong. Um, one of this dweller PK is still relevant. There's still three Dantes in the TCG, so you gotta play it. Uh, and Mermail, one and one. I was thinking about bumping this up, but ultimately I didn't even go into this, so I, I was happy with keeping it at, at the one of each. Uh, double Dire, it's, it's free when you tag out for Buster, it's free pops. Um, one Nagusto Emeralds, uh, just for Cycle, and I opted to play two Castells, because I could have played uh, some other cards, some subpar of the XYZs, but I figured why not just play a better, a better, it's another copy of a better XYZ. So in came the second Castell. Uh, and last but not least, the side deck was thrown together the last second, and it, it's, so it's a little weird, but still, still a good side deck in my opinion at least. Two effect failure. Just, 
if something random came in and, and some random things did came out round four I played against a, a BA Inferno deck so this actually, this actually came in really good for that um, one Chaos Hunter um, it's really easy to get over so one was good enough you sided against PK you sided against the mirror match you, you can get some really nice nice combos off too double gamer seal didn't mean it because it did, doesn't extend my turn one play so I just want to make Buster Dragon as much as possible, as fast as possible. So I opted to put it in the side deck. It, you still, this is still an amazing hot phenomenal. It wins you the mirror match sometimes too, so you should be playing it. Uh, double system down. It's a good card. Mirror match wins all the time. Um, it's not so good now that that new pop card is out, but it's still a good card nonetheless because it steals the game a lot too. Uh, double Dark Hole, just random destruction. I signed this against all three of my Blue Eyes matches. It saw it all three and won me all three of my matches, so Dark Hole. <laughs> um, double Stygian Dirge. PK. Um, PK is kind of a problem. They're really fast, and a lot of people forget how fast they are. So if they can do all of their stuff, you're in a really tight spot. So I figured. I'll, even if I, they do this stuff, Stygian will stop them continuously for the next turn, the next turn, the next turn. Not because it's continuous, but because they don't have an out. They're, all their outs are XCs. Uh, it, it, it's, it's like a Flying C, except you can crash a Flying C. You can't crash a Stygian Dirge. So unless they have that Twin Twister, it's game. And it was game in round two. Uh, double Union Hanger. Uh, scramble, double Union <laughs> Scramble. Uh, system Downs. They came in every game. They came in game two, game three. I resolved it a lot of times today. It is a good card. It is the out to the system down. I would rather be playing two pots and one scramble. It's a preferred uh, ratio that I'd like because the pot can save the buster, the buster dragon. But no complaints. Great all day. Uh, I did draw it a couple times. It was dead, but it, it's still a, need a, a necessity. Two empty spells. I was really gonna main these. Metal Foes is full power now and they're like, really strong. Blue Eyes is still a relevant deck, but does not extend my turn one play. I wanted to extend my turn one play. I wanted to be able to make Buster every single turn. So that's my reason for siding. And yeah. What were your matchups then? Uh, so it was three blue eyes, two PK, one mirror, one mermail, and the one random of Burning Abyss Infernoid matchup. Yeah, and it's weird because my losses was the Infernoid and the mirror, uh, the Mermail matchup. The two most random matches my whole day, and uh, that's what happens. <laughs> Any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to Draw Three Games, best team out there. Um, no, that's about it. All right, thank you for the deck profile. Right, thank you very Take much, man. Stone. Catch you guys later.